Hey guys, how's it going? I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers. Thanks for coming. I'd like to welcome all the new returnees back. Any new folk? Okay, we're gonna, as promised, I'm really, really gonna try to keep this down to like hopefully 10 or 15 minutes at the most, but who knows? It's, there's just so much stuff to find once you get going here. So, I just want to zoom into some of this stuff quickly that we have been watching just basically to get it into the video because I'm gonna pour over these and do kind of a time-lapse thing at some point here to so we can go from beginning to finished product in a much quicker time for all of you for a lot of these Wow look at this there's a whole bunch of new islands on their way up in here where BC Vancouver Island's gonna end up part of the mainland for sure because here's the last of the fill-in and the last of the big water Wow cool so I won't even bother measuring any of this yet I just want to see if any of these he's leaving all these channels open for sure in here yeah so far it looks like maybe a new island coming right here actually yeah we'll have a look but I'm sure we're gonna find that this entire island it's like we're it's gonna be brand new we missed the whole mud stage usually we get to watch them come from mud to hills and rocks and then the forest but that bad boy jumped in there pretty quick I think maybe overnight on us all right so uh, okay we're gonna be narrowing our focus here just to keep the time down but we'll definitely want to keep an eye on this because it looks like he's gonna run a bunch of the Rockies out to the ocean perhaps leave us with maybe a bigger inland sea in here or something I don't know <laughs> we'll have a, have to keep an eye on that for sure wouldn't surprise me if these two bad boys off the tip of Vancouver Island are new too wow look how densely forested it is already and stuff there isn't any of that really light blue around the water so these are finished products we're looking at already but we totally they just well we'll look back and see they think it never took those any longer than 24 hours to grow 48 maybe hey we might be catching some newbies right here look at that just a little mountain tip coming out but we've got her on record so we'll carry on here just want to pick these up enough so we can check them in a day or two and see how they're progressing that's basically for any of you that haven't been following us along what we're doing is is following keeping an eye on brand new islands trying to catch them when they're mud like when Ty's building this stuff he seems to have some patterns that he's following one of them is pushing this muddy sort of stuff up through the water first and then it kind of solidifies into rock and hill and things and then it he puts the trees and stuff on them wow this stuff like the southern part of Alaska here that as you know Alaska is whacked anyone who hasn't been following it's three times four times for sure it's normal size but it's really growing a lot of new stuff in here for any of you that just want to come doing your own searching I can and don't let it fool you if it's already got a little town and a harbor and things like that you watch you'll see you'll hey here's some here's like the mud slurry stage oh no this one's already growing trees too look at that holy crap <laughs> but yeah if you guys want to catch brand new ones as they pop up this would be a good area to watch up here for sure and also another area this is the land bridge that we've been watching on the previous videos because Ty is definitely 
going to connect Alaska to Russia, whether it's here in this little area or maybe across here. But this one here has been filling in with lightning like crazy good. Oh, you want to catch brand new stuff coming in. This is the place to do it too, right in this area. This guy's new since the last time we were here. Huh, it's already treed and everything. Some of them have real high cliff banks like this, and others got, they're just nice little Florida Keys type things with white sand beaches. Now, oh, this is so trippy watching our home regrow around us. It's great. Hey, we might have found a mud stage. Yes, here's a fresh mud stager. Okay, let's get a good zoom in of this. See, it isn't done growing yet in size. Any place where these little sandbar fingers come out, it's going to fill in with land in between. He always kind of outlines it first, and then he carries on growing it. Oh, this is a perfect example for any of you newbies with us. This is kind of, this is a little bit late stage. There's more green on this than if you catch it like the first day. It's all brown mud and dark, dark water, like this stuff. Like the whole island would have been. It would have been here a day earlier. And then it goes like this, like by day two, day three. When he gets real serious with the live growth type stuff, you see a lot of this lighter blue, only way lighter than that even. Hey, here's a good place, good example. Watch where this sandbar comes out across here. It'll all fill in. So there's some stuff to watch. These little guys here, keep an eye on. Oh yeah, see anywhere in here you'll get to watch tons of growth over the next little bit. Okay, let's log in on our this thing. This one's growing too. But this land bridge that doesn't belong here I'm not so certain that this isn't going to connect before any of this does, actually. Pretty good chance of it. Because a lot, I mean a lot, of what our long islands... Hey, these two dots connected overnight, huh? <laughs> nice. And these two, wow, two, two. He's connecting a lot of singles, turned them into doubles, and there's definitely some longer strings in through here. Nice. Wow. This one's coming together pretty good, pretty quickly. Looks like we might get a larger land formation in here. Some funky stuff, for sure. Okay, this has spin the world a little. I like to try to keep north to my top. I'm looking at a map, but it just helps me out. So we've been keeping an eye on this thing, the beard hanging off Russia that doesn't belong. It's connecting a land bridge to Japan, which, again, if you're new, Japan, instead of being this little banana thing down here like it used to be, should be this, all these big chunks of serious land. <laughs> this is all Japan, man. I kid you not. I'm looking north and south Korea. That's crazy. But I got lost again. We were watching this land bridge. Wow. Holy. Yeah, he's been busy again over the last day or two. But we're watching, waiting for this to connect to Russia. Because it will. There may be some mud stage ones here, too. If you're want to catch some really early like from brand new on this will be a good place to do it too on it oh wow look at the colors on this one holy crap yeah you're definitely going to want to come back and check out some of these little islands because some of the foliage on some of them it's like really bright emerald green stuff some stuff's real dark green See, this one looks pretty normal. That last one was trippy, though, eh? Okay, so that's uh, part of where we've been keeping an eye on. I know there's all kinds of activity up in here in 
what I was calling. Look at hun, the remember the great mud flaps flaps of Russia? They're virtually gone. It's all hills and valley rock and stuff now. Wow. That was I'm not sure guys, but probably four or five days ago. Wow. Yeah, you'll see when you look the thing to do is look back over the previous videos and I'm not real good with this stuff, but if there's some way to overlay from then to the current one or whatever, you'll see amazing stuff going on here. Like this, there's some of the, here's that mud stuff I was telling you about. See, the it's just pure mud and dark water. That stuff turns into this stuff grassy little bit just a greenish tinge of whatever then the more advanced stages is the hills actually develop and the rivers and mountains even and then you know goes to all that work putting all that land there and then he starts carving it back out <laughs> he's gonna tear this in there somewhere who knows where trippy Okay, and the other place we've been watching the down near Australia, Australia itself. See, here's the really light blue stuff I was telling you to watch for. That's where major activity is going on, and usually major plant life type growth. Quite often, the land is done growing, and he's down to installing. Yeah, see, like wow, wow, yeah, these are. These islands that weren't forested yesterday are forested now, a lot of them. Wow. Man, Ty, that is smoking good work. Beautiful. Look at that. See why you guys, when we come back tomorrow, these this little sprinkling of trees will be full-blown, thick, thick forest. This one's going to be a real thick one for sure. Solid. Look at the beautiful white sand beaches, though, too. Oh, can't wait to get there, man. <laughs> this is going to be good. Okay, so all over the northern part of Australia, anywhere it's bleeding blue like this, you're going to catch a ton of activity. But we've, in particular, been watching, waiting for the bridge, the land bridge across either here or here. So it's going to connect in here fairly short order we know that for sure it's like all this stuff here is all gonna connect all the way down eventually it will connect to where New Zealand is where which is way out of place probably down this ridge here if I had to guess and this will probably become a fairly substantial landmass just guess so from what we've been watching but look at the Indonesian islands. They're, they're like big, big pieces of land now. The little dotty things in between, these are slowly but surely connecting into land bridges. The, all the land masses will join. This funky shaped thing here with the two legs and whatever, and it didn't have it came up to about here, and a lot of this is all new since we've started watching this area. Another place to find lots of brand new island activity, right in here. Really good place, you'll find tons. Oh, here's another brand new bleeding blue spot. This wasn't here yesterday, I don't think. It was we didn't take too close a look but you're gonna see all this silty looking stuff that's flowing out that's exactly what it is he's bleeding off the land and sending water whether it's an inlet a lake a rivers some kind of water getting built into the system there okay where was the other land bridges were okay Italy boot we're watching pretty closely uh, could be wrong, but I think this spur off the back here is a new development, for sure. 
So I have to keep an eye on that. It may be going to reach across to the mainland here. Just make sure this hasn't actually connected yet. It's coming close, but not there yet. And you know these should be hundreds of miles apart, right? Okay, there is other land bridges. He's just got the eastern coast of Canada and the U.S. totally butchered. Oh yeah, in here in Bahamas and the Florida Keys. You watch all this stuff coming in. Look at the size of Cuba now. Dominican, Haiti, Jamaica, all of this area is just filling right in. And it's looking like the Gulf of Mexico, if anything. It's going to be reduced down to down to this size, but there's a possibility it may just disappear. We'll be left with a little inland sea or that type of thing there. But yeah, the north shore of Cuba, you can zip down in there and I'll almost bet money you'll find mud brand new newbie islands to watch. This one here came up and now it's going the other way for some reason. He's melting off this stuff across here. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's up with that. And these uh a lot of these long stringy dudes here we look back a few days and we'll find that those were just dots that weren't yet connected just like these are. All these little insignificant things. We'll keep an eye on those quite closely because they'll pop out around here too, run over and connect. But these, this will be solid land bridge too. Because still, still not feeling anything different. I'm still believing fairly strongly that once Ty gets all the land masses the world connected is gonna bring everything out of the sky put on a little fireworks show for us slow down our our aggressors a bit <laughs> amongst other things bring some clarification yeah there's lots of lots of new stuff in this area if you want to come back I'm thinking this whole wow Wow, yeah, I know. The Galapagos Islands, we, I kind of, I know I touched on these two or three days ago and they've changed since then. This wasn't connected then. I think this may have been two to three islands, but they're growing in size too. Crazy, crazy people. Crazy times we living in. But that's the thing too, don't get all confused with the crazy theories out there of overlapping timelines and things like that. It's The reality of it is that our old reality is, it was all a lie anyway, it's all an illusion because we're believing so many lies we've all been taught and not questioned. That's basically all that's happening is we are moving into a new reality, but it's nothing more than him exposing lies and giving us truth and thankfully tossing in a rejuvenated planet for us. Or, sorry, planet. Jesus, how brainwashed we are, eh? Because it ain't a planet. The thing is flat. Flatter than a pancake. And he's, he laughs every time anything other than that is suggested because the evidence is all there. That's the thing, flat earth can literally be proven through scientific experiment and observation over and over again in various situations where around earth you can't. You cannot go and find a curve and prove it anywhere. It's, you just you can't prove anything. you got CGI pics that you've been believing that are not correct, folks. But that's neither here nor there. You're going to believe it now or believe it then. You'll <laughs> it's a part of your new reality. See this South America connection to the Antarctic? That one looks like it might be going to take a little while. But I think I've covered the majority of the stuff we wanted to. 
and kept this thing to 20 minutes. Perfect. All right. See you tomorrow, folks.